now it's time to get to work. Next up, I will be installing, there's a hole right there if you can see it, two holes. I'll be installing the bracket that I smashed my finger on yesterday, which uh, holds up this massive WVO Designs uh, vegetable oil pump. You want to explain what's going on right now? We're going for coffee at Timmy's. Oh, sorry. Um, yeah, this is what we're doing. This is the return line, right? Going down to the tank. This goes straight from here to the tank. Now, the problem is, well, it's not really a problem. It's after he purges it, the oil will be going down here. So what I'm thinking of, I know you find that hard to believe, what I'm thinking is I'm going to put this line with the water lines so when it returns, it heats it up. Heats up what the tank. A stupid idea. I like it heats that. Heats up the tank. I like that. Now, it's just an idea. if I had the Wabasto running and I had the pump on but the engine off, everything's going to get warm. The, it would warm the tank by circulating the fuel. Pretty much, yeah. Holy crap. We got a genius on hand here. Also, somebody asked where the uh, flux capacitor was. Where is the flux, flux capacitor? Capac that was a good question. I love that. <laughs> that was a good one. Because I love Dr. Fusion. I think that's freaking hilarious. But yeah, that was a good one. I like that one. All right, this is the last part of the vegetable oil conversion, besides filling up the tank with vegetable oil. This is the uh, fuel lines going from the, from the fuel pump to the engine, basically. This is, we're in the final stretch. This is the final stretch. Da 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 da. <laughs> da 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 da. So the anticipation has been da, 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 da. building for a very, da, very da, da, long time. Da, da, da. We are both very excited to get this thing running on French fried juice. Guys, we ran into a very serious issue. We are short two fittings. So that means we're gonna have to finish it tomorrow, unless Badge can work a miracle and pull out a trick out of a rabbit's hat here. Guys, great news. Badge had an extra fitting in his bag of tricks. So we're gonna try and get this uh, smaller hose hooked up to the engine. Great news, guys. We got it all hooked up here. This was the last part of the vegetable oil lines. Right now, Badge is uh, taping up the fuel lines to the coolant lines. If anybody is just tuning in, that is to keep the fuel lines, the fuel being the vegetable oil, nice and toasty. And uh, Badge is also gonna make some uh, baked your potatoes. Walmart, your Walmart tin foil. You gonna make baked potatoes, Badge? What do no, you get? What do you... We're making. Uh, yeah, we're gonna make uh, French fries. Oh yeah. Why yeah, don't you tell the class? Why don't you tell the class your recipe? French fries. Because we're gonna wrap these lines to keep all the heat in here, right? <laughs> I think we're gonna get it too hot, but we'll see. We can always take it off, right? There you go. And this is just tin foil. This is Billy's trick. That's a uh, nut bar. Brother Billy. Brother Billy. This is his trick, and it works. So this is the equivalent of wrapping your your uh, oh, your your, water hose your, your time. wrapping your presents with a gift wrap. Because this is the gift that's going to keep on giving. Like so. This is a heavy duty, high tech, uh, a really expensive uh, uh, aluminum foil, right? Yeah. From Wal a, Walmart. A $2 Walmart stuff. <laughs> so it doesn't have to be the most expensive stuff. It just has, it keeps all that heat in there. Yeah. The only problem, like I told Jack, is he has to check his hoses to make sure they don't dry out, which he probably will. Yeah. Because they're going to dry out that rubber hose. They're going to get real hot. It's going to make it really, really hot. Yeah. So. Yeah. And we're just going to put the rest of the tinfoil on, wrap it with some of this tinfoil tape, and then we'll check right back in with you. Remember? 
All right. Yeah. Ducting Remember, tape. Duct tape. This is duct tape. This is not quack McCoy. quack. This is du this is duct tape. That's right. Okay, wrap them hoses up there. Okay. Now, if you guys come to Jamie's van build, uh, which is uh, Enigmatic Don't Nomadics. <laughs> Um, Don't tell rumors. It is a place uh, Don't where people tell help each other out. Don't tell them rumors, Jack. Nobody charges for stuff, but if you need something done with your RV or van or um, you know, like mobile nomad vehicle, <laughs> come on out. It's going to be over by Havasu slash Parker. And uh, if Badge here fixes something on your rig, Make sure you say thank you with a very useful, useful way. Now, this was a thank you from someone. Bob. From Bob. He did a bunch of work on his yeah. thing. And he got him a 480-piece terminal mm -hmm. assortment. He's probably used half of them. Mm -hmm. And he's got insulated wire connectors. And uh, sh these are shrink tubes. Um, electrical stuff. So, if... You need something done, you're come not, on out. You're not allowed to work in cat in another And state. he's not allowed to work and collect money. No. But if he volunteers, you could I can you know volunteer all I want. He could volunteer, you guys could volunteer something nice in exchange. Something oh, yeah, useful that mechanics just use. Bob up and just so you know, because remember Bob, I give you a hard time over that. <laughs> and I said I didn't need them, I never use them. Yep. I just about got them empty now. <laughs> he's he's used quite a few, and there, uh, several uh, uh, several of them are on my bus here. Now I'm gonna get to work. I'm gonna wrap more of the cedar hose in tin foil. I finished wrapping this in tin foil in duct D U C T, not quack quack tape. Goes all the way down there. Not the whole entire thing is. Um, insulated with aluminum foil and duct tape, but you get the idea. Now, Badge ran a wire okay. through here. What's going on? So remember, well, it seems like a month ago, but it wasn't. But remember a little while ago, I, I told you this is the pump relay. Yep. This is running both. This is running the diesel pump and the veggie pump. When it's normally closed, which is no power to it, it's going to run the veggie pump. And when it's on, it runs the diesel pump. So remember I put this wire in here? Yeah. Right? Yep. This wire right here, this one. This one here? Yep. Okay, so I take that off now, and I plug in the veggie pump into that one, 87A. Yep. Okay? Now... And then I take the ground, and I put up to here. And that's how we're charging, that's how we're running the veggie pump. All right, so Badge, you want to explain what you did here with the uh, terminals and connections? Them. All right, there you have so, it, folks. What you have to use is a wire brush like this to clean them. Now, you have to get it down to the iron, like here. So what we did was we put a grinder on that and grind it. And grind all the corrosion off. These had to be all clean, spotless, so. All right, you guys ever use one of these things before? Well, that was my first time. I didn't do the best job, but uh, inside there, that's where the uh, vegetable oil goes. So I'm just going to have a little sneak hole right over to the tank. All right, do you guys know what's going on? You should by now. I am not having a deep fry fish Friday. We're going to try and fill up this tank. That is the hole that I made. I am not sure that is going to work, but we're going to try it. If it doesn't work, we'll do a square. Uh, we also, I was gifted, kindly gifted by Badge, this very nice 12 volt pump. It's going to cost you an arm and leg. I know. So, I got this brand new pump. That nozzle looks a little bit too short for that it's hole. Brand new. Brand new. Got a brand new pump in the motor right here. Okay, I'm going to show you how to do this. Okay. And he's got an idea. Just take the thing off there. And just stick the hose right in the tank. No, that nozzle should be long enough. We're going to explain the fuel system to you. Two tanks, right? 130 gallons. And this one here is what? Uh, 65. 65. Okay. It comes from here. Diesel. Diesel to a pump, right? Waste. Veggie oil pump, right? It's set at 35 psi. 
Okay, it comes out of the pump and goes up to the side of the frame with the filter. This is the original filter on the truck. Comes up to here. From here, we're gonna we got the waste vegetable uh, Y, right? Two yeah, of the them. Uh, solenoids. Yeah. We're not going to show you the solenoids. We're just going to show you where they go, right? And, and that, is, in plain English, is just an electronic valve. Yeah. So what the diesel do is, or sorry, comes up this way. We got to Y this one, okay, and then that one Y. Yeah. Okay. So then, no, they both go the same way, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's all right. Okay. So. Then it comes off here from the fuel filter up to the Delivery. normally closed side. And then this one here is a return on the normally closed side and goes back to the fuel tank, right? And that's your diesel side. Okay, now this one here goes up and it feeds the head here and here. You got to return here and here. So these go, um, these, oh, we only need one here. These go into here, right? The, the returns go into here and the feeds go into there. I know it looks confusing, but it's not. So you got two heads, right? Both heads are exactly the same. You can take the left head, put it on the right, right and left. Okay, so the front, you got the front is the, on this one here, the front is the uh, return. On this one, this is, so we put return here. And, and the reason is, guys, let me show you guys something. And where, where my, where my uh, index finger is, right? Watch what happens when you switch an identical head to the opposite side. Works Boop, exactly the like same. that. So that's how they're identical the same. That's why they have plugs on both sides. So they can manufacture one head and use it on both sides. And on the international, that's why I still say to this day, until the day I die, that nobody's ever done it because they call this a deadhead system. What a deadhead system is, is the fuel comes up through here without the Y. It just uses the fuel and it comes through the fuel lines and goes into the head. There's no return. The return went back on the filter hose. Remember we took off? That one on the side I showed you with the little hole in it? That's why. The fuel goes into the head and that's it. It doesn't go nowhere. Now, when the fuel goes in the head now, it goes in the head and out the return. So, you're right. All the 7.3 guys are clapping because now you don't have a priming problem. Turn the pump on. It goes in the line, up here, into the head down the head and out the return, which you can't do that. And the 7.3 guys will tell you, it's a, it's a pain to bleed these things. Okay, so you got the diesel. Yes. Out of the tank, into the pump, from the pump to the filter, from the filter up to the, the solenoid. Valve, solenoid valve, and this is diesel, so it goes into the head. Through the head and out the return and comes back to the tank. That's how the diesel works. Now, the veggie works exactly the same way, exactly, except we added heat and we taped it up and we got a different filter on it. So this is how the veggie goes. And by the way, the waste vegetable system or the straight vegetable oil system, essentially you are creating two uh, systems in parallel. Two identical exactly. systems. Exactly. There is not a thing different, except we put heat to the oil, to the waste veggie oil. You cannot heat diesel. Just remember that. You cannot heat diesel. We have no heat going on the lines, going to the head, or the return lines on the diesel side. None whatsoever. It's all before the heads. Okay, so we got the tank here, and it feeds into a Davco. Which is a water remover this is and one of the oil best fuel and filters on fuel the planet. filters. And then it goes from here to the veggie pump. 
from the veggie pump. I gotta think how this goes. It on. goes into the plate exchanger, the it heater. It comes up here, and we have a plate exchanger, which has two ports here and two ports here. Okay, so this goes up to that side there, and then this side comes down and goes into this valve, right? On the normally open side. Okay, so that's the fuel. Comes in from the tank to the DAVCO. Now the DAVCO is always on the vacuum side. You never put it on a pressure side. Comes into the waste uh, veggie pump. Which is a WVO Designs. Yeah, and then, which is a W Design. It's made for oil, so we'll see. It comes from the pump, goes in the pump, out the pump, comes over here to the plate exchanger. From the plate exchanger, it goes into this Y. Okay, now the return system, I'm going to make a big long line, but it's not that long. You come, it comes up here on the normally open side. So you don't need no power on the solenoids to run the system on veggie oil. Now the reason for that, and the only reason for that, is that the solenoids get warm when you're using power. So why would we, the longest one that we figure we're running on is the one that we're going to use normally open, which is going to be veggie. Because I don't think this thing's going to run on very little diesel. So, so by default, which means by default, this is design. we are designing it to run on diesel. So we're just going to have to push some buttons to turn the diesel on and turn it off to run it on oil. Yeah. So the return on the oil, you turn you turn the switches off, the diesel switches off. There's no switches to control the there is no switches to control the veggie oil pump. It's a either the veggie oil pump works or the diesel pump works. One or the other. And the, he knows how to get around that if he has an issue. Okay, and we come out the return side on the normally open side, we have no key powered, okay? So the fuel, the veggies coming in here to the pump, or to the DAVCO, from the DAVCO to the waste oil pump, or from the waste oil pump. From there, it goes over the 32 blade uh, heat exchanger. From the heat exchanger, it comes here. Now this hose here is only like eight inches. So, and then it goes into the head, here and here, the same as diesel, and it comes out the return, the same as the diesel. Now the reason for that is because nobody Nobody could tell me if they could purge this deadhead system. Nobody. They said, oh, well, you just switch the switches and it purges. Yeah, but can you guarantee me all the de all the veggie oil? Up? No, you can't. On a deadhead system, you cannot guarantee that you got all the veggie oil out. On our system, you can because the diesel will come in here to purge it and push the veggie right down the return line. Essentially, it's a recirculating system. It totally so then we come back here, and this this is a long line. This does no. It's a lot shorter in the engine, yeah. And then it goes back to <clears> the <throat> fuel tank and starts all over again, right? Now this sear system doesn't return a whole bunch of fuel because we got the pump set at 35 psi, which means that it'll constantly feed 35 psi. So not a whole bunch is going to be returned. Not like normal diesel. Okay. Now, the difference between, you're going to say, yes, this is the same as that. The only difference is we've got a plate exchanger in here and a di little different fuel filter. But it's exactly the same as a diesel system. Except, all the hose with X's on them, right, are heated. We Wrapped in, in heater hoses. Yep, we right? wrapped them in. all wrapped in heater hoses and, and tape. Wrapped in tinfoil just like a potato on the barbecue. Yeah, and you've seen pictures of that. And this one here is wrapped the whole way too, almost. Yep. Darn near, all the way. And also, guys, uh, the purpose of this is to heat the fuel. Oh, yeah, sorry, fuel. I'll tell you about that. And also, this is heated too, which is, it's everything's heated by the coolant. Yeah, this has got, I'll, I'll show you the Webasto in a little short circuit, okay? But that's how the fuel system is. Now the difference between this one here and this one here is a plate is a plate heater and a different filter. The system is exactly the same. Exactly. The diesel and the veg oil are exactly the same. So I know a couple guys, I got some names in the back of my head, you know. Like Z-Man saying, well, you can probably take this tank here and fill it with diesel with vegetable oil. Very good, you kid. 
as long as you heat that line. As long as you heat that line up and get it up, you could do it. But we wanted two systems. Now, you got to remember there's a whole bunch of ways to skin a cat, and a Canadian drag racer will find them. <laughs> and you just got to remember that when we started this out, it was I want two systems, one for veggie and one for diesel. Not a blend or something cheaper. This is what I want. So that's what he got. Exactly. Two complete systems. And totally. it, it, for some reason, uh, if something goes wrong on the uh, vegetable oil side, guess what, guys? A flip of a switch, I'm running on diesel. On and diesel. vice versa, right? Yeah. Sometimes you'll have an issue with something somewhere along the line. And with the press of a button, I can, you know, change over to that. That's what having a dual system is all about. Is it arts and crafts time? What are you drawing there, Badge? Arts and crafts time. What are you drawing? I'm going to show you. The anticipation so is killing us. Okay. So, okay, now this is out of context. Believe me, it's not, it's it's hard to, exp we showed you all the stuff on the truck, but this isn't how it's laid out in the truck. I'm just showing you how it works. And the 20, this is the 28 plate heat exchanger. Now, these two lines here are these two right here. So, this is what we got here. You got an in and you got an out of the Wabasto. And this the Wabasto, is, for uh, this everyone's is uh, recollection, is a diesel powered uh, fuel, or actually diesel powered coolant heater. Yeah. So, what we do is we come from the heater to the Wabasto. From the Wabasto, we come out and we go to the 32 plate. From the 32 plate, we go to the DAFCO. Yes, the DAFCO has got a heating element in it. It, it, is also, it also has an uh, electric heating yeah, element to it. Yeah, plug it in, but we probably won't use that. Yeah, one. we're just hooked to the coolant. From the DAVCO, it comes back to the engine. This is the circuit. Okay, remember, we got a valve. That's a coolant system. We got a valve, and we got a valve, right? So, or sorry. These two, he got the, the valve is here. Sorry, this valve is there. Okay, you're good. So the engine, the heating goes through here, through the heater, comes down through the heater to the Davco, from the Davco to the 32 plate, back to the Wabasto, but the Wabasto goes back to the bottom of the motor. And then now, if it's really super hot out, like he says he's not going to go there, so we'll see. If it's super hot out, you turn the taps off, right? This one off, this one off, and open the bypass. And what it does is makes the water come down here and like that and bypass the heaters. I know, ingenious, isn't it? <laughs> totally ingenious. So that's how the fuel system. Both systems are exactly the same. This one's got heated fuel lines, this one don't. This one's got a DAVCO, this one's got a fuel filter. And this one's got a plate exchanger, and this one don't, because you never heat diesel, but you heat engine oil, or uh, waste vegetable. By the way, I want to thank uh, Provincial Powertrain uh, Eeyore for the Davco. I salvaged that off he, a truck. He saved us a, like, he saved us a ton of money. Like, you could never thank Igor for what he'd done, because he'd he, give you the He was a couple everything. thousand bucks easy. Yeah, easily. Easily, easily. So, um... Oh yeah, we should put that here. <laughs> That's right. The uh, fuel system sponsored by Provincial Powertrain for all your heavy duty exactly. uh, truck. And he's got a uh, one eight hundred number. I'm not sure what it is. <laughs> you can buy parts from him all over because he ships oh, better than. Dude, American he rebuilds diesel there. engines and transmissions hey, that are worth. He's like... one of the best automatic transmission guys in probably North America, bar none. Okay, so that's the fuel system. Now we go over here and see how close we were. Okay, so remember this picture here I showed you about a week ago, or two weeks ago. So we basically got this system, except we don't have this now. That's a, this is, we got the fuel filter and we put that's in That's supposed a, to be the tank with a, a heater yeah, in and out. Yeah, I forgot to request a, that, so. 12, the heater, the heat exchanger in here. That's about all. Yep. But other than that, it's all basically the same as that. Are you ready to fire this thing up on veggie? As soon as somebody gets the veggie oil in it. <laughs> Let's check this out. 
Look at that. They're sucking that baby down. <laughs> oh man, it sure is. We are now pumping oil into the fuel tank. This is absolutely crazy. I can't believe... <laughs> I can't believe we're going to try and run a vehicle on cooking oil. It just sounds completely ridiculous. You think I just wasted two months? Of course I know it's going to run on... No, I know, but it just seems like so ridiculous, right? Like, why would you do this? But it works. So, well, we got to fire it up and then we can say it works. Well, what is ridiculous is when you go to the bar and think you're going to pick up the best looking girl there. That's ridiculous. Well, to tell you the truth, I'd rather go to the bar and pick up 100 gallons of oil than the best looking chick. It'll get me a lot further in life. <laughs> this is the uh, leftovers. <laughs> this is the pantyhose uh, method. And I'm thinking I should have got like 10 pairs of pantyhose because this thing is uh, clogging up pretty well here. I need a pail. I know. Okay. All right, this is the pantyhose filtered oil. Badge flip the switch. We are now sucking this very, very dark coffee colored oil into the fuel tank over here. You know, Badge, can I borrow a pair of your pantyhose, bro? <laughs> we might need some more. Just remember who went to the store to get them, okay? Yeah, that's that me. It wasn't me. <laughs> We've been idling on diesel. We poured about 50 plus gallons of uh, dirty oil over. Now, for the first time, Badge switched over to vegetable oil. Although we still have vegetable oils in the line, he's keeping an eye on the pressure regulator. I don't know when it's going to start burning veggie oil, but it should hear pretty soon. How's the pressure? You gonna adjust the pump? This is exciting news, guys. I have a feeling this is gonna be a very long vlog. So thank you guys for sticking around if you guys watched from the beginning. Badge is checking out the pressure. The oil pump is on. I think he's trying to prime it. I could be wrong. I'm definitely not a mechanic, but I've been picking up on things. Is the Davico filling up with oil? We're troubleshooting. Key is off. We're on diesel here. Yeah. Bad. You want to explain what we're doing briefly? What we're doing is uh, you got to get it. The uh, veggie line's empty, so we got to get it from the tank, which has got thick veggie oil in it, to the pump, to the filter, and it's sucking on the vacuum side, so it's got to suck all that air out of it, right? So, instead of screwing up the $500 veggie pump, you prime the filter with diesel. Basically, you fill, you fill the pump with the uh, diesel. And you get it, right? All right. So there is a pump inside here, and Badge is pouring it inside of the filter. Okay. How he knows all this stuff, I will never know. Are you guys ready for this? I don't even know if I'm ready for this. Badge, are you ready for this? Always ready for it. Okay. Now, right now, diesel. We'll the same time. Diesel is on. Veggie is now on. Cross your fingers, folks. It's still running. It could be still fueling the system. We do not know if this is going to work right now. Rev it up. And he's got his hands up. I don't know what that means. I mean. I think it's working. Go smell it! It actually uh, sounds uh, like the engine is uh, more lubricated right now. I could be wrong. It does have a slightly different sound to the engine. Um, I just got my foot on the gas. No, I agree! Oh! 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 Oh!
the vegetable oil system is running. Let's get our first whiff. Well. Uh, well, it, right now it's a mix. So I think the fuel is still kind of mixing through. It does smell like uh, falafels. We did get it from a pizza place that has, oh yeah, I get that nice odor. So I think we're up and running. Let's take a look at the filter. This is the color of the fuel right now, okay? That's the oil. Let's take a look at the uh, uh, filter. That's the fuel. The fuel filter, you can't really tell what color the fuel is going through. It's very hot. Yeah. So, I think we did it. I was expecting, honestly, more of a french fry smell. So, oh yeah. Let's stand back a bit. Yeah, that's not diesel fuel. That, my friends, that's some french fries. My bus has a high idle feature. So you turn that on, and turn that down, where it says throttle, right? So that'll rev up the engine. We got a 1500 RPMs. I just want to do that so we can push out some of the fuel. See what, see what kind of odor we're getting back here. Oh, yeah. That's, <laughs> that's definitely veggie oil. Oh, that is such okay, a nut. Now it's a sin too, Michael? Uh, no, add to your story. There you go. Badge adds a story. By, by the way, anybody wants to follow Badge on uh, Instagram, it's VLightRVing, same as uh, YouTube. Um, dude, you did it. High five, man. That's fucking awesome. Even with the Canadian Postal Service, we did it. <laughs> Canadian, I hate this Canadian so, UPS, man. You know, uh, Where's the mosquitoes? You know, I'm gonna. There's a couple guys that have been uh, texting me back and forth, like, uh, um, what's his name? Z Max. This is so friggin' simple, Z, you won't believe it. It's just so simple, there's no information around, and I don't know why everybody don't do it. Probably because they don't want to go get the oil. Yeah. But, <laughs> look at it, the thing runs as clean as a whistle, hey, you can't even tell. Uh, bad, you know, honestly, I swear, right when we switched over, you'll uh, hear a difference in the engine. Yeah. It sounds a little bit different, it and it quieter. sounds crazy. Yes, it does sound quieter, it's more, it sounds more lubricated, so. That's what you. Cool. That's that's how we oil up or fuel up, huh? We had I forget how many jer uh, jugs here. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. They weren't all the way full, so we'll just call it like forty-five. Yeah, forty forty-five gallons, something like that. So, anyways, we'll pick up ten more tomorrow. This is nuts. Ugh. Yeah, this is really strong. I'm gonna turn the idle down. Oh, hey, come, yeah. in, come on inside and uh, listen yeah, to the idle. Yeah, like chicken back here. <laughs> All right, Badge, do the honors. Jesus. The maiden voyage. This is on Badge, day. everybody. All right, it's on automatic, so just uh, do the close thing. There we go. Look at that, the door even works. Look at that. Everything works. Make sure everything's still with cash. Oh, yeah. I got the wood off the roof. I got, uh... You got the wood off? Yeah. Let's try this. Come on, try this. Okay. Oops, let's see where it's going. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, so he's uh, purging it to diesel. We're well, running on diesel. Yeah, we're back to veggie. I, I swear it sounds. Oh, Michael's calling. I oh. swear it sounds better when it's running on veggie. I knew you'd call. I knew you would call, Michael. <laughs> the thing survives. It runs. It runs. <laughs> It runs better on veggie than it does on uh, diesel. We're just going for our first maiden voyage. Yeah, look at this thing. Oh, it runs like a dog, man. And it, guess what? It smells like fried chicken in the back. <laughs> fried chicken. Yes. It's it, true. It, does. it runs really good. All the only thing we had was a problem picking up fuel, but I knew that. So we purged it and it worked just fine. Yeah, no, yeah. it works good. After so much anticipation and so much desire, want, and need, which brought me up here to Canada with Madge, all the delays, all the forgotten parts, all the trouble that we went through, all the sweat, all the money, all the delays, 
we're finally, for the first time, running on vegetable oil, and it's almost a surreal feeling because there's so much energy that went into this moment right now. It's kind of like, it's almost like I can't really believe what's happening right now. But it feels good. And that's I couldn't good. have done it without you. Well, you could have done it without me. You were just in a little slower, that's all. <laughs> that's cool. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. And it feels good. I'm thinking it was a good deal all the way around. <laughs> Now he's going to bail on me now and go to Colorado. Because as you notice, Michael's got a little bit of work. You see? Yeah, we, but, both, we both got a lot of work here. You know, on the hindsight though, there's a lot of been done to this baby. Even yeah. with all the screw-ups, it just turned out to be yeah. good. Yeah. You got it. It, yeah. it looks good. Of, it's fun. Oh, yeah. And this, I mean, we haven't even started on the inside yet, so... He's got a couple of pet peeves, you know that, eh? Yes. Yeah, this Sardines. Thing, this oh, thing's got it. some this juice, smoking. man. They're smoking. I know. You know, the funny part about it is it smells like chicken, it's fried chicken, because that's yeah. what they use the oil for. But, it's so, but it runs so good. It actually runs better. I think so. I think so, too. But a lot more pep. Yeah. Yeah. And the engine is a little bit and quieter. still got the oil at 40. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna go and get a Coca-Cola at uh, Buck Creek store. Yeah, I'm thirsty.